Uh, in this video, I will determine which vibrational modes of this formaldehyde molecule are infrared active and which are Raman active. So first, you need the character table of the C2V point group. And then you look for uh, the column of linear functions and rotations. But really, we'll just focus on the linear functions. You look for x. So x is here. And then B1 symmetry is infrared active. And you see y here. And then B2 symmetry is infrared active. And then you look for z. A1 is also infrared active. So in total, you have A1, B1, B2 are all infrared active. However, this A2 is infrared inactive or IR inactive. Uh, how about Raman? Uh, you look at quadratic functions. Uh, we see a quadratic function here. It's a quadratic function. We have y to the power 1, z to the power 1. So in total, the order is 2. So it's B2 is active. B1 is active, and then A2 is active. Over here, we see three quadratic functions. As long as we see only one, it's Raman active. We see all three, but anyway, it's just A1 is uh, Raman active as well. So A1, A2, B1, B2 are all Raman active. So all of those vibration modes are Raman active. So if we look at the uh, six uh, symmetry, uh, six irreducible representations of the vibration modes. Uh, actually, uh, all of these six are both IR active and Raman active.